oops I did it again I've gone and injured myself one more time and this time I thought it was a lot worse actually than my torn calf uh, so about a week ago I was on a run which uh, I call a sacrifice run it's where I go out and I get a stick and I run the route that I want to run quite a lot that summer and I bash down all the stinging nettles and the brambles and things so it clears the route and once you do that you haven't got to do it again for basically the rest of the year which is great so I was doing one of those um, and they take ages because you know it takes it's, you're, you're going basically slower than walking pace so I was out doing one of those I was quite tired and uh, I was actually clearing a route for uh, this running challenge I want to do which is I think I've mentioned it in one of my videos but basically the challenge was going to be or hopefully will be to uh, run a 10 mile loop from my garden and back to my garden mostly off-road but the goal is to not be seen by anybody. So to sort of run the whole thing without being seen by a single person. I thought that's quite a good challenge because I don't think anyone's done that yet. And um, I don't think it's very easy to do that because you know, 10 miles, you're bound to see at least somebody. So that was the thing anyway, that was what I was trying to do. And uh, I got about two miles into the, the run as such. And I was going through this field, actually not too far from here, it was just over, about half a kilometer that way I was going along and I was just minding my own business and my foot landed on what seemed like grass but it was actually a hole and I couldn't see the hole and it landed and turned sort of like this it felt like a 90 degree turn and I heard like a pop sound and I just oh I just screamed out in agony it really hurt fell over and I was on the floor for about five ten minutes thinking what am I gonna do because I don't have my phone with me um, at first I was thinking I can't even stand up let alone walk uh, but I had to stand up I had no choice I was in the middle of nowhere I had to stand up and started to walk and uh, managed to walk and jog back home I managed to get back home in about about two miles um, it's just in this lovely little meadow here I'm about to um, go and film a video on how to deal with being injured. I thought that's a bit of inspiration I've had from being injured. That's one silver line into this cloud. But uh, yeah, so and I've walked and jogged home, and uh, the next the next day it was really swollen, and I couldn't really rest it the day that I injured anyway. I was doing all sorts of things. So the next day it was really swollen, and I uh, ended up calling 111, which uh, if you're not in the UK, that's uh, a sort of non-urgent helpline for uh, medical issues one step down from 999 basically and because my friend who's a physio said that I should get a scan because it could have been a fractured ankle or a torn ligament so I uh, called through and we did a video assessment and uh, the lovely nurse there said that um, no it doesn't look like a break or, or a fracture uh, it looks like a minor tear um, oh look at this lovely meadow it's beautiful did a virtual run actually uh, in fact I think it was about three or four days before I t twisted my ankle I did a virtual run including this section here in fact it actually looks nicer now but it, it's quite a nice run so that will be out in a few weeks um, I think you might enjoy that one because it's one of the most uh, one of the prettiest ones I've done so far just a lovely beautiful um, summer uh, morning really so anyway so that was my ankle and um, the swelling was getting a bit worse and the next day I had physio luckily already pre-booked so I went and he said it doesn't look too bad actually so he thinks I might be able to start jogging again in about two weeks in fact actually that was a week ago so hopefully in um in about a week's time possibly or maybe a bit more I might be able to have a go at doing a bit of jogging I've done quite a lot on it since and it doesn't feel too bad uh on um on Saturday uh, I had to do quite a bit of driving and I was walking around and things and it did get a bit sore but actually since then it's it's not too bad so fingers crossed I'll be able to start running again soon because this is really frustrating and the amount of times I've been injured. Um, on Friday or Thursday I recorded a video so I, this, this injury video I'm doing is all about when you've been injured and how to handle it mentally, not anything to do with practical stuff. The other one I filmed the other day was actually to do with tips or ideas to help prevent you, you from getting injured in the first place. So in a nutshell those are basically getting more rest and sleep, eating better and 
train in correctly and not trying to increase your train in too quickly. That's essentially, that's the crux of what I was trying to get across. This one I'm going to film in a minute. I'm going to talk about uh, how to go through all the stages of when you've been injured and how to deal with it and how to focus yourself and all those kind of things. So I'm going to go and get my, I've got my tripod and I've got my bag with my um, other camera. I'm trying out some new sound recording technique. I've got a little sound recorder and it seems to be better quality than the built-in mic for the Osmo Pocket that I've got. So I'm trying out with that. So anyway, I'm going to go and film that and uh, that will be out maybe a few weeks after this video. Hopefully um, by then I'll be running again. And typically, just as I'm about to film the other video, the sun goes behind a huge cloud and I have a feeling that the sun's not come back out again, which is really annoying because I came out thinking, yes, it's sunny, it's a nice day for filming and it looks like the sun's gone. So I'm going to get in there quickly and hope that it comes back out again. Anyway, thanks for watching this and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.